stop the collapse. Europe's next step in navigation policy has been taken after the successful launch of two more satellites from the European spaceport in French Guiana, South America. With four satellites in place, the system of the so-called Galileo program is entering its service validation phase, which means testing the performance of the positioning system. If the system passes the validation tests, the European Space Agency will go ahead with the launch of the rest of its planned constellation of 30 satellites. Satellite navigation has become essential for European transport and industry. The European Parliament and the Council have made a proposal for a regulation on the implementation and exploitation of European satellite navigation systems. Marianne Zan Marinescu, Vice Chairman of the EPP Group, is the rapporteur on behalf of the Parliament. Now the two satellites were launched, so uh, starting with 2015 uh, uh, will be uh, operational. So, um, and together with EGNOS, which is another European system, will uh, will provide a, a very uh, high quality uh, si- uh, signal for different kind of applications uh, uh, in different domain of uh, uh, economy. Four is the minimum number of satellites required to get a navigational fix on the ground. Each one has a specific task. One satellite has to measure latitude, one longitude, one altitude and one to provide a time reference. These two new satellites are also the first to carry search and rescue antennas to pinpoint aircraft and ships that are in trouble. Also, the GNSS, the Global Navigation Satellite Systems Programs, as proposed, will generate 68.63 billion euros in net benefits to the Union during the system's 2014-2034 life cycle. This is why a business plan from the European GNSS agency to grow this market is essential, said Mr. Marinescu. With this um, uh, system in the future, in the very near future, we shall have a as I told you, a very uh, high quality uh, signal and this could be used in a lot of uh, areas, in agricultural, in uh, transport, uh, uh, on roads, on uh, maritime, on, uh, on rail, so in a, in a lot of um, uh, applications. What are the benefits for the people? First of all, they, they will use this system, so it will make the life easier and second, will create a lot of jobs. The accuracy of Galileo is designed to be only 1 meter. The US GPS offers an accuracy of 3 to 8 meters. This accuracy is based on hydrogen maser atomic clocks. If everything goes according to schedule, Europeans will get first access to the service by the end of 2014 when 18 satellites are in place.